Is it true, Sean? Has Sydney Morning Herald parted ways with Mike Carlton? We have. What happened yesterday, uh, you mentioned earlier on, Mike wrote a column uh, Saturday before last, which was very controversial. Um, being a broad church, the column was fine. That's the, the, the issue wasn't the printing of the column. Since then, it attracted a lot of criticism, and uh, many readers wrote to Mike. Now, what sort of got him into trouble was the way he responded to those readers, and it was totally inappropriate, using very inappropriate language. Uh, and it, it, it's really important to stress it's not the article itself that's the issue, it's the way he treated readers. Yesterday, the editor-in-chief of the Herald, Darren Goodsir, rang him and said, you need to apologise. Uh, as the afternoon rolled on and more of these emails emerged, uh, we spoke to him last night and, I mean, effectively, he said we would suspend him and he resigned on the spot. Right, so he hasn't been sacked. He was going to be suspended, but uh, he's elected to uh, to quit the City Morning Herald. Yeah, on the, on the back of the way he responded to the, the reader's emails. Right, so was he uh, apologetic about what he'd said to some of the readers? He was apologetic about what he, he said to some of the... I mean, I think he accepted that he had gone too far and, you know, Mike's a really a well-loved columnist in the Herald. Um, it's just as, as more emails emerged, uh, we kind of figured that we needed to suspend him because we certainly want to put the reader first and no one has the right to treat people that way. And, uh, and then from there he resigned. He's had a long association with the City Morning Herald. Yeah, I mean, he's had a few stints there. I, off the top of my head, it, it, it's kind of decades, measured in decades. So, and a very popular columnist and, and very opinionated and a great writer, really is. And no stranger to controversy either. No stranger to contra- controversy. He's made a good morning radio host too, you know. I mean, he, he's a very talented individual. Yeah, but the nature of these uh, emails was, uh, I mean, because in the end we all get... We all get emails and correspondence from uh, from listeners and readers and viewers that take issue with what we may have said, but the response was uh, using pretty pretty strong language. Yeah, John, that's right. I mean, he he, he used language which I, which just is not acceptable in the workplace. Certainly not when you you know you're talking to your customers, um, and it's not as if there was the one or two emails. There were several emails, and that you, know, you just can't do that. Have you had many complaints from readers, Sean? Uh, both sides. We've had a lot of complaints and a lot of supporters. And the, the, as you mentioned earlier on, we ran a cartoon with it, which in hindsight was racist, and we have apologised for that. Um, Mike's comment was certainly uh, had, had took a view, but we're a broad church. That's fine to run that, and that comment remains online at smh.com.au. Uh, so it, it has drawn a lot of attention, and that's certainly not the reason for him going, as, as sort of I keep repeating, it's actually the fact the way he treated people after that.